Marco, you have an ID on you? You ain't got to give it to him if you don't want to, bro. Yeah, I'm not in the fan. I'm not in the fan. Freedom, freedom of speech. Are you being... He can't remember your last name, bro. You're not being remember suspected remember. to commit Marco, no crime, bro. I just can't remember your last name. He didn't know it, though. Interfering with an investigation. Freedom of speech. Yes, I'm sitting here recording it. You have the right to be here. You have the right to report. We can have the right to interfere with the investigation. I'm not in the fan. What's your last name, Marco? Like when I shrug my shoulders, when you ask me, do I know what's going on? Mm -hmm. That means no. Stop asking me more questions. I don't know nothing. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is News Now Ninja. Today's video is a huge shout out for A Young City, who was out when he realized that there was four officers doing a wellness check on an individual who had dozed off while he was waiting for the bus. But it seems that these tyrants like to turn these wellness checks into Fourth Amendment checkpoints and require ID. Get to the link in the description for the entirety of this video. Also, make sure and let A Young City know that News Now Ninja sent you. And let's get straight to this video. Marker, do you have an ID on you? You ain't got to give them to him if you don't want to, bro. I'm not in the fan. I'm not in the fan. Freedom, freedom of speech. You ain't got to give him your info, bro. Do you have your ID on you at all? Trust me. That's fine. Can I have it? Are you big? He can't remember your last name. You're not being suspected to commit no crime, bro. I just can't remember your last name. He didn't know it, though. You ain't being suspected to commit no crime, bro. last name, You ain't got to give him your info. Freedom of speech. Yes, I'm saying here recording it. You have the right to be here. You have the right to report. We have the right to interfere with the investigation. I'm not What's in the fan. Name, Marco? Freedom of speech. Man, I can't remember your last name. Did you take anything today, Marco? Okay, is that it? Okay, I'm just making sure. Again, we're here to check on you, so I'm wanted to just want to make sure you did take anything else. I can't hear you, man. Oh yeah, but he he's got to, he's got to talk to you, man. Okay, we're just trying to get your last name. None of, none of them don't remember your last name, so. We're just trying name? to check on you, make sure you're okay, man. You got a couple calls saying that you were, you were dozing off, and that, that was it, man. Yep. We're just trying to make sure you're good. That's it. All right, I don't know about you, but I didn't know that dozing off in public at a bus stop while you're waiting for the bus was illegal. And for what reason would it require four officers to make sure that a man is okay when the call is just for dozing off? Let me know what you think in the comments section, and let's keep pushing forward. Do you need an ambulance or anything? Hey man, I'm just asking a question. Are you waiting for the bus? What was it? I think I heard it. No, we're not gonna do that. Are you waiting for the bus? Okay, where are you trying to go? Because you were asleep. Apparently you've been here for like a long time. Well, that's what the caller said. And if you were asleep, you probably wouldn't know how long you've been here. You know what I'm saying? We just got here. Yeah. We just got oh, here. Sorry. So, could we just get your last name so that we can put you in the computer so that next time somebody calls, oh we, we can say, oh, that's just Marco? <laughs> okay? Hey, just want to tell us no. I don't remember your last name. I'm terrible at names. I remember a face like no other. How about your date of birth? What? How old are you? What do you mean? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with that? I'm switching. Okay, but you're good. You don't need any police assistance. Is that what I'm hearing? 1068. Yeah. 
Alright. Don't fall back asleep, because somebody's gonna call back and we're gonna be out here to bug you again, okay? I'm here to bug you again, okay? I'm here to bug you again, okay? To check on you. Okay. That's good. That's good. Do I have some papers? Like rolling papers? No. No more. No, I don't. Alright. Hey, what's your name and badge number? Deputy Chadi, ID number 398. 398. Deputy still uh, 414. I'm talking to him. Okay, I'm just making sure. EFC winner. ID number 398. Nah, I'm talking to him. What's it? I ain't, I ain't get his name. You got three. You yeah, got three. Deputy Chadi, ID number 398. Alright. Uh, you you telling me before, man. Alright, when I shrug my shoulders, when you ask me, do I know what's going on? Mm -hmm. That means no. Stop asking me more questions. I don't know nothing. Okay. Yeah, stairwell. Go get on the body, all right? Keep asking me damn questions. They keep talking about, are oh, you interfering? Freedom of speech is not interfering. You want to know, share well? Fuck wrong with them. Huh? Yeah. Bro, you're not being suspected to commit no crime, bro. That's why I told you, you ain't, you ain't had to say nothing to him. Right here. Nothing. The fuck? Man, get out of here. I said this man a million times. You okay? He said, yeah. Let me know what you think in the comment section. If he wasn't there with the camera, do you think that the situation would have gone the exact same way? Or do you think that it might have turned out differently? As always, thank you for the continuous love and support, and I'll see all y'all on the next one.